Hey everybody, we are back with another episode of Fan Mail Friday and we have a big uh, basket filled with packages to go through. Thank you so much for sending stuff everybody. I've got a stack of responses that I'll show you later in the video ready to go and I have a bunch more that I still have to get to. I'm trying to get caught up while I'm off from work. All right, Livy, are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, you're in charge. Bring over the packages that you want to open first, and let's get right, going. Our first package on this Fan Mail Friday is a 400-count box from Michael. All right, we got it all open. There is a note on top. And the note says, uh, here are a bunch of extra cards I had and a few autos and relics that my brother and I found. That's pretty cool. Fun story about Logan Verrett. My brother went to high school at Ward Melville High School, school in East Setauket, New York, the same school that Stephen Matz went to. <clears throat> All right. Thank you very much, Michael. Let's check out what's in this box. All right. We start off with uh, some autographs there. Phil Garner out of Topps Archives. That's a pretty nice one. There he is. Logan Verrett, the player that Michael pretty much knows personally there and has a connection to that's pretty nice I see some relics here off to the side we have a Phelps sweat power lifter um, obviously from Allen and Ginter they're always doing weird stuff like that Lorenzo Kane and then Salvador Perez that's pretty nice like Salvador Perez a lot. And then we have a Miguel Cabrera patch. That's a very good one. Miguel Cabrera from back when he was with the Marlins. This is probably from like, what, 04, 05. And then we have a Carson Kelly autograph relic. That is really nice. Thank you very much, Michael. That's some good stuff there. And then inside the box, we have a bunch of cards from Allen and Ginter. We also have Optic, some Bryce Harper cards there. That's a pretty nice little run of, uh, okay. Juan Soto, rookie card. Very nice. Some Royals, it looks like. Uh, now we get to the Angels, so maybe a Mike Trout. There we go, Mike Trout. Two Mike Trouts. Three Mike Trouts. Very nice. Four Mike Trouts. Wow, this is a nice collection of Mike Trout cards in here. Uh, people always ask me for Trout and Otani cards, so that will definitely help me uh, fulfill some of those requests. Austin Gomber, rookie card, and Christian Yelich. That was a really nice box. Thank you very much, Michael. Right, this next one is from Francisco. There might only be like one or two cards in here. There is the uh, cards right there all wrapped up nice and tight. Tanner Scott autograph. That is pretty cool. First Bowman card. Check that out, Livy. See that? Mm -hmm. Tanner Scott. Thank you very much, Francisco. 2017 Bowman. I did not see a note. So, um, and now this one is from Michael Murphy. A nice sized box here. Wow. It says special gift for Olivia from the Pokemon store. In the Chitose Airport in Japan, he spelled it out for me, Chitose. This is from Japan. Come on over here and open this up. Can you move your bench closer so you can see? What is it? Oh, yeah, it's also Pokemon. This is Pokemon cards from Japan. This came the whole way around the world. And check this thing out. Pokemon. Bat. Oh, Mommy will love that. You can put all your Pokemon cards in there that she's been finding all over the house. That'll help keep you a little organized. And then this one says, I think I'm the first to send you any of these. Oh, nice. There's a bunch of packs in here, too. Some hanger packs and 1988 Tops pack. Let's see what's in this envelope first. The first ever to send me any of these. What could it possibly be? It's cards from Japan? No way! I was wondering about this. Some people have sent me cards from other countries before, and I'm always curious if they have cards over there. Um... This is the, the first cards I've ever received that are actually from Japan. We have the Soft Bank Hawks, Y Yanagita, 
And then we have T. Nakashima from the Fighters. Um, then we have someone from, I think that's the Cebu Lions. And then Louis Akote. This is pretty awesome. There's the Yormi, Yormi, Yormi Giants. I know some of the teams over there. Um, Motohiro Shima. And then we have Brad Eldred. I loved Brad Eldred when he was with the Pirates. He went over to Japan and became a beast, put up crazy good stats. I loved him in Pittsburgh because whenever he would come for batting practice, the guy would hit just tons and tons of home runs. He was an absolute beast. It looks like they're still using his Reds picture on there. Um, I guess they couldn't get a picture of him in his most recent Japanese Hiroshima Carp Uni. Oh, you got a GX? That's good. We also have a Jesus Guzman. This is cool to see some of these uh, ex-MLB players. Willie Mo Pena. He used to rake with the Reds. And then we have Tony Barnett. Played for the Rangers not too long ago. I remember him. Devin Heath. Nate Shearholtz. I wonder what happened to Nate Shearholtz. And here is the business card here. Michael R. Murphy. Baseball cards proprietor. That's pretty awesome. That's the first time I've ever received baseball cards from japan you can see the back is all written in japanese for the most part. So the statistics are in japanese so i'm not sure what any of these mean aside from maybe like that's batting average that's probably rbis i'm guessing 34 dingers maybe let's check out the note it says i just wanted to thank you and your family for sharing the great videos of your baseball card travels and adventures i really enjoy them and i look forward to visiting some of the flea markets and antique shops you've been to particularly near hagerstown as that's only an hour from me is that it was on a business trip to japan in 2015 when he bought some of the nippon professional baseball cards at a nippon ham fighters game out of curiosity and thank you very much for the prayers um Seriously, they they worked because I'm feeling like 100% right now pretty much. Uh, my neck is a little tender. The um, surgical tape is still on there. It hasn't fallen off yet, but like I feel like I could go out and hit some home runs in a baseball game right now. I, I feel pretty good. So thank you so much for the prayers. They have all definitely, definitely worked. Let's check out what we got here. We have these hanger boxes. This is Series 1 2017. I see a Miguel Cabrera on the back, which is pretty nice. All right, let's see. We have a big stack of cards here. Now that we're in the middle, we're getting to the inserts. Carlos Correa, Kyle Seeger, Luis Coronel, first pitch. Um, then we have some Silver Slugger Awards cards. Donaldson Seeger, Dave Roberts, Manager of the Year, Chris Bryant. There's a buyback from 89 Tops, Rediscover Tops, gold label stamping. And then back to some of the base cards here. See if we get any crazy good base cards. Um, Madison Bumgarner might get traded. Miguel Cabrera is going to be a Hall of Famer for sure. Got a rookie card coming up. It is a Brian Goodwin rookie card. Dansby Swanson rookie card. And then we have a Miguel Cabrera 1987 top style design. Liv, you want to help me open one of these other packs? Um, the big one. All right, I'll do the little one. Let's okay. up real quick. Let's see what we get from 88. All right, Paul Molitor, the best card in this one would be probably a Tom Glavin rookie card. Wade Boggs, so we got a couple Hall of Famers off the bat. Actually, three Hall of Famers. Dave Winfield's also in the Hall of Fame. So this was a pretty decent pack. One of these days, I'll probably have to do 88 tops for a, for a throwback Thursday. It'd be cool to do every single release ever from like the 80s and 90s. And heck, we can maybe even push it back to the 70s and throw it back. So that was a really awesome box. Thank you very, very much, Michael. I really appreciate it. First time I've ever received cards from overseas, like actual Japanese cards. Really cool. This next box I could tell you is from Maryland. There's no name though on the um, in the return address line, so it's a mystery. The box is pretty big but kind of light, so let's see what's in here. Got some bubble wrap. Oh, there's a baseball in here. Uh, Major League Baseball is the only thing in here. This will be interesting. 
It is in the official Rawlings um, box there. It says, Merry Christmas. Your YouTube family is rooting for you. Eric Strong. Really cool. I'm not sure who sent this because there's no name on it, but let's check it out. Um, that's not the person's name. They're just saying Eric Strong, like we're rooting for you. It is a Brooks Robinson Hall of Fame signed baseball. Wow. Livy, this is really good. Yeah, Brooks Robinson is a Hall of Famer. Uh, one of the best fielding third basemen of all time. You can see Hall of Fame there, 1983 is the inscription on there. Um, I don't know who sent this to me uh, because there's no name, but this is really awesome. Thank you very much for this. Uh, I love autographed baseballs. I don't have that many of them. Um, but, I mean, if you're going to get an autographed baseball, a Hall of Famer is the way to go. Thank you very, very much, um, whoever sent this. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, our next package is from Linton. Oh, what is this? Pokemon wristband. No way. There's like four of them in here. You want those? Yes. Oh, man, I know what's going to be on your wrist now for the next week or two. What are these things? Pokemon stickers. No, they're tattoos. You could share these with some of your friends in your class. I think you just like put them on your like arm or whatever, and then you put water on them, and then they... Yeah, that's how I think they stay on you for like a week or so. That's how they're used. All right, we got a pack of cards here, and I don't see a note in this one either. So, Linton, thank you very much. Um, let's see what you see. We have an Andrew Heaney autograph card there. That's really nice. And then throwing it back to Jeff Facero from the Expos. I remember Jeff Facero. He was pretty good for a couple years there. There's some nice autos. And there's also a team bag here filled with stuff. We got an Austin Meadows Black Border rookie card in his Pirates uniform, numbered out of 299. That one's pretty cool. Then we have a Domingo Santana. That's I have I've never opened the um I haven't done I haven't collected much stadium clubs, so this looks like almost like it's a negative, like an orange negative or something like that. Um, not really sure about that. Jose Altuve, blue border, not golden leather from Baltimore. There's an Ichiro card, Josh Reddick, an Altuve, Kyle Ripken Jr., 84 tops. I like that card. And Tyler Glass now, gold future star card. Very, very cool. Thank you very much, Linton. All right, our next package is from Francisco J. Yeah, what we got here? Whoa! No way! Oh, for a second I thought that was an actual um, Chrome update box unopened. It's okay. It's just being used to keep the cards nice and uh, in place. Let's check out what's in here. We do have some packs in here. Whoa, we got lots of packs in here. Holy cow. Oh, no, there's cards in here too. Okay, whoops. Whoops! We got packs and cards. Luckily, they didn't all go flying out there. Packs and cards. Very nice. Looking for, I don't see a note in this box. Maybe it'll be in the other one. Let's check out the cards first. All right, these are all the singles. Let's check out um, and show you the highlights. Lucas Duda rookie card is a highlight for me. I like rookie cards a lot. And there is a nice run of rookie cards in here. Austin Meadows, Legends in the Making, Insert Series rookie card. Pretty cool. Manny Margot, rookie card. He might be on the move soon. Possibly rumored in a possible Corey Kluber deal. Alex Reyes, rookie card. Yep. All right, let's crack open these packs. It looks like, um, actually, they've already been cracked open. Um, cards are just put back in there for safekeeping. So here we have a 30 card pack of Panini Donruss. Because Marian Rivera is a really good one. And you got the inserts in the middle. Uh, Might have just been looking for maybe an autograph or relic and leaving the uh, base cards behind. A lot of people are only interested in relics and autographs and a lot of people that buy breaks, they don't even get the um, base card sent to them. The um, 
the breaker just keeps the base cards and probably just liquidates them in large lots. Um, and they just send along the autographs. Here's a Josh Bell rookie card. Stadium Club is pretty nice. I should have probably bought more Stadium Club. Um, very nice um, photography on these cards. There's a Chris Davis. Bless you. Nice Chris Davis, um, like negative orange there, I guess. Giancarlo Stanton making a nice catch. And then uh, that's a pretty cool picture. Sean O'Malley getting absolutely drenched over the neck with Gatorade. Why? Um, probably because they won the game and they're celebrating. Let's check out the other pack. This is also um, 2015 Panini Donruss. Mike Fultonavich rookie card, pretty nice. And Xander Bogarts. All right, let's check this box out. This is really nice. I don't think I saw a note in that last one, so maybe there'll be one in here. Um, if not, I thank you very much, Francisco, um, for sending along your packs to me. Let's open these up real quick. Here's some more Stadium Club. Oh, that's a nice um, Power Zone insert there. Matt Weeders. Let's do another quick run through of the uh, Panini Donruss from 2015. Corey Kluber, Diamond Kings, Long Ball Leaders, Puig now on the Reds, Giancarlo, Ozzie Smith, Javier Baez rated rookie. That is nice. Uh, 2015, so yeah, that's his rookie card. Jose Altuve. This is 2017 Heritage. Nineteen sixty eight tops design. Nothing really too crazy in there. How about we check these tops ones real quick? Top series one and two from twenty seventeen. Ken Griffey Jr. Carl Jastrzemski rookie reprint. Nice Ricky Henderson, nineteen eighty tops rookie reprint. That is pretty cool. And then um, there's this one. Oh, I guess this wasn't open. I was thinking these were open, but it looks like actually th this one's not opened. Um, so sorry if I was thinking that you opened these but didn't because uh, I guess he just taped them down so it looked like it was open to me. And now I feel stupid. Thank you very much, Francisco, for all these cards. They were fun to go through, and I do appreciate it very much. I think I'll save a couple of these for later on. Could probably save some packs for um, maybe like a rainy day video when I'm getting low on ideas. Just go and bust a bunch of like 2018 packs. This one was put in a special We Care bag um, because this um, was damaged here in transit, it looks like. Um, yeah, so it's uh, we sincerely regret the damage to your mail during handling by the postal service. We hope that. This did not inconvenience you. We realize, uh, huh? So looks like they damaged this package. Um, there's no card in it now because of the damage. I don't know if there was cards in it or not. Looks like there's some drawings there. It says to Eric and all jabs. Hi, Eric. My name is uh, J J A I or Jane. I'm 13. Hey. I've been subscribed to your channel for a month, and I'm enjoying it. Also, I'm Australian, so I don't have baseball cards, but I like baseball cards. So, uh, this is the random stuff. We have uh, Legend, the Jabs family, very nice. And then please sign this note. 
and a little drawing here of a baseball player hitting a ball and that might be me catching it that's pretty cool all the way from australia very cool another one from francisco so maybe this one has the note in it um he sent the other package There's and i got confused one. there is go get that one too we'll do all the francisco ones at once check what's in here francisco is sending some really good stuff lots of packs love those packs and we have oh we got a bunch of cards in top loaders you can see that Ooh, all of these is there anything else from francisco over there oh we got one more thing okay and Livy also found a letter from Francisco. Chris Sale rookie card. That is sweet. 2011 Heritage. 52 tops design. That is really nice. Steven Strasburg gold cup card. Anthony Rizzo gold cup cards. Reese Hoskins rookie cards. That is awesome. I like Reese Hoskins. He's one of these um, 2018 rookies that I'm collecting along with Ozzy Albies. A few Ozzy Albies, very nice. Wow, this is a nice collection of rookie cards. Raphael Devers, wow. I really appreciate this, Francisco. This is awesome. Walker Bueller, there we go. Walker Bueller, this is, I, I don't even know what to say, except thank you so much. More Walker Buellers, wow. Lots of Bueller rookie cards. He took the time to sort them out and everything. We have Jared Hughes rookie card. I love Jared Hughes. One of my top five favorite players in the game by far. Chipper Jones. Hunter Green. Miguel Andujar. Here we go. Some really good rookie cards. Soto. Oh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Very nice. Verdugo. He might be on the trading block. It's possible that maybe the Dodgers could end up trading him. Uh, maybe to the Indians to get Corey Kluber. That's probably going to be the piece that the Indians are going to want. Indians do need some outfield help. So that was a really nice box. Thank you very much, Francisco. We also have this note for you. We'll open this one up too. Um, Livy's in charge of bringing the packages over. It would have been nice if you would have brought all of them over at the same time, Livy. I'm just giving you a hard time. All right, the note says, my name is Francisco. I'm 41 years old. I came across one of your videos, and ever since, I have been hooked up. This year, I started to collect again thanks to you. There's two packages for you. Both have a lot of good cards. I would appreciate it if you would open everything and share with everybody. You got it, man. Um, that's going to help me because a lot of people have been asking for Acunas and Buellers and Sotos, and I'm, you know what? There's some of those that I want to keep for myself, so... Um, a couple of those players, especially Acuna, have been having trouble like fulfilling, and they've just kind of been sitting in a pile um, just waiting to um, for me to get some Acuna cards. So this is really, really nice of you. One of the boxes, it has cards for your personal collection. Olivia has two packs for her. It's in the big one. Keep, uh, keep up what you do. I enjoy all your videos. Thank you for making collecting fun again. Thank you very much, Francisco. I really appreciate your note. And... Um, those packages were just amazing. Thank you so much. Our next package is from Larry from Ohio. Let's check it out. There is a Christmas present inside here. Hmm, that is pretty cool. Pokemon. A Pokemon for Livy. There you go. What do you say? Thanks, thanks, thank you. Thanks. thanks. Oh, Livy just knocked over a bunch of my cards. Don't worry, I think I called it. Uh, I think it was just a deck. Livy, this is for you. Whoa, a slider autograph. You remember him, don't you? Oh, yeah, slider. And, whoa, we got more stuff. Pokemon stickers. These must be for Elsa. No, they must be for me. Maybe they're for you. You can put those on your binders and stuff for school. And then there's a baseball in here. It's an official Frontier League ball. Uh, Bill Lee was a pitcher for the Red Sox. They called him the Spaceman. I think that's the same guy. Uh, there's an autograph there from Joe something. I'll have to see what it says in the note. Okay, the note says, Been watching your channel the last couple months. I enjoy your flea market hunts with your brother. P.S. I watch his channel now also. And, and you collect Cleveland Indians cards on relics if I have any extra. I will definitely go through and see 
I should have some Indian. I definitely have lots of Indians cards I could send. I will definitely look for Indians relics specifically. And inside here we have a relic from Starlin Castro, and then an Ian Kinsler relic. Very nice Johnny Peralta relic, and Michael Brantley Tribe Town MVPs. And then there is a hundred year um, anniversary of baseball in Cleveland. Uh, that's pretty cool with um, progressive field in the background. Whoa, what is this? What is what? Bradley Cleveland. This is like an old 1909 tobacco card. That is pretty awesome. Polar Bear is now and has always been the best scrap tobacco. I don't have any tobacco cards, so that is really, really cool. Um... I don't know who Bradley is. The only Bradley I know from Cleveland is Bradley Zimmer. And then we also have a Doc Kramer. So th th I think, what's this, 1939 or something like that? Play ball, I think, was 39 or 40. Yeah, 1940. Roger M. Kramer. These are the oldest cards anyone has ever sent me. That's pretty awesome. And then we also have Shoei Otani rookie card. Very nice. Albies. Robles, love rookie cards. Homer Bailey, he just got traded to the Dodgers, and they are planning on releasing him. Um, you guys are going to have to let, let me know about these cards, um, maybe what the value is. Um, that is pretty awesome. I really appreciate that. Oldest cards anyone has ever sent me. This next one is from Fred Broxmeyer. Let's see what we got inside here. It says, stay strong, enjoy the cards. And in a top letter, we have some pirates, and uh, there's a nice Barry Bonds. There's a Jose Lean. That was my brother's favorite player growing up. I think if he ever made a fan mail Friday of his own, he would probably be getting a lot of Jose Lean cards sent his way. Thank you very much, Fred. Next package is from James Thorne. Nice Christmas tree decal on the back there. It says, Do Not Bend. Oh, we got some Pokemon cards, Livy. Thank you. That's for you. And, oh, I think this is probably for you also. Wacky packages. What are wacky packages? I don't know. They look fun, though. It says, Eric, hope this finds you well. Be brave, my card collecting brother. My mom's 80 and just survived ovarian cancer. Uh, so I've got this. Thank you very much. Please feel free to trade me any Red Sox. I moved to Arizona a few years ago, but he still bleeds the Red Sox. And a couple stars like Giancarlo Stanton. Morris Garrett Jones. I'd like to get his Japanese card. And Jose Lean, my brother's favorite. Thank you very much, Thomas. This next one is from Goodman. Uh, it's probably his last name. Oh, we got a rookie pack. Very nice. Love rookie cards. Uh, the note says, Dear Eric, I am 13 years old and watch your videos every day. Please enjoy the cards I've sent you. I'm a huge Yankee fan. Would love to have uh, any autos, rookies, or relics from Acuna or Bueller. Wet it'll smudge a little bit. Let's see what we got here. We have a Raul Mondesi autograph. That's nice. Carlos Lee. I remember El Caballo. That guy was a beast in batting practice. Used to love him when he was on the Astros. Him and Hunter Pence put on a show about 10 years ago. And then we have Trey Turner rookie card. That's a good one. Like Trey Turner rookie card a lot. Rafael Palmeira rookie. Then we have some Pirates. Aaron Nola rookie card from opening day. Very nice. Check out this rookie pack. We have Greg Bird, Brandon Drury, Michael Taylor, Travis Darno. Alex Gordon, 2007. His 2006 Topps card is worth tons of money. Rob Refsnyder, Brandon Pinder, Michael Franco, Luis Castillo, Tyler Glass now, Joe Musgrove, Luke Weaver, and Tyler Austin. Thank you very, very much, Dave. This next one is from Rusty. Looks like it might be a nice Christmas card. It is a Christmas card. Holiday cheer. It's in the bag. It says, just a quick note to say Merry Christmas to you and the family. Uh, hope Santa is good to you all. Wishing you a speedy recovery. Thank you very much, Rusty. The re uh, recovery is going very well, and I'm feeling pretty much back to normal. Um, not feeling so tired as I was last week. 
Today we went on a little hike to a uh, waterfall at Laurel Hill State Park. Really nice uh, trail. We always go on it like we try to go once a month. Uh, but anyway, this next one is from Jeff. Looks like it might be another Christmas card. It is a Christmas card. I see a candy cane and a couple Andy Van Slyke cards. Very nice. Van Slyke, my favorite player growing up. Here's some Van Slykes for your collection as a way of saying thank you for such an amazing YouTube channel. Good luck with your cancer. I'll have you in my prayers. Thank you very much, Jeff. Okay, this one is from Michael Willensee. We got a package of cards here and the note. We'll read the note first. It says, I've been enjoying your YouTube videos as a collector for over 40 years. It's nice to see collecting that's not about hits and PSA grading. I sent along some odds and ends that you will enjoy. Lots of stuff that you don't see every day. There's even some cards from Australia and one from Japan. All I want in return is for you to keep helping young collectors get into the hobby. That is one of my main goals. And um, I really appreciate you sending these cards. And I'm really interested to see what these cards from Australia and Japan look like. And then we have some 87 Fleer Little cards in here. Some really nice little odds and ends. Superstar Clemente cards. Oh, I see an OJ Simpson card on the back. Uh, I wonder if that's worth anything. Yeah, that's your initials. OJ Simpson's not a very good dude, though. Uh, we have some Topps Tiffany cards, it looks like, with those nice shiny backs and glossy fronts. That's pretty awesome. I actually bought the entire set of 88 Tops Tiffany. It's still for sale. Uh, I sold off the um, British set and the Tops Traded set, but the original set is still sealed and ready to go if anybody wants to buy it on eBay. I thought I might have missed the card from Japan or Australia, but it looks like I found it. Uh, this is from Japan. You can see it's an Adam Kennedy Tops card, and it's a 2003 Japanese Tops card. So... That's pretty cool that Topps actually makes cards um, printed in Japanese. You can see there, it looks like a regular 03 Topps card, but on the back, it's has, it's all written in Japanese. And also, I think the uh, printing's a little different down there. And these fly ball cards, these might be the Australian cards. Thank you very much, Michael. Okay, this next one does not have a name in the return address, but it is from somebody in New Jersey. Let's see what we got here. A bunch of singles. Okay, it is from Jake. It says, I love your YouTube videos. You inspire me to keep collecting cards. I started watching your videos last month, and I've been collecting cards for the last few years. I'm so sorry to hear that you have thyroid cancer in my Thoughts and prayers go out to you. My favorite videos are the fan mail ones, and I was hoping I could be on one. Well, guess what? You are on one, Jake. And you would like 2018 Diamondbacks cards or Ron Gant or Blake Snail cards. There's a Chris Stewart rookie card. He played for the Pirates for a little while. Devin Mazzarocca rookie card is nice. Garrett Richards rookie card, also nice. Oh, we got an autograph. Josh Bowman autograph card. I didn't even, uh, wasn't really expecting that. That's pretty cool. And Joe Borowski, thank you very much for the cards. All right, our next package doesn't need a post-it note to cover the return address, but we know it's from Watertown, Connecticut. And we have more singles. I'm a subscriber, a first time fan mailer. I found these Pirates cards in a recent 74,000 card clean out I did. Not sure if any of them are super collectible, but figured you would at least enjoy them. Really getting into the baseball card world thanks to your channel. channel and you'd like back an auto or relic card. Um, um, I know some people don't have team bags to put the cards in. Or sleeves could always just a workaround would just be putting them in a Ziploc bag and then just like taping around the Ziploc bag to keep all the cards in place um, so they don't get damaged 
Luckily, though, these are just uh, like 80s and 90s Pirates cards, so no super uh, valuable cards in there that could have been damaged in the process. Uh, thank you very much, Craig, for the cards. We're down to our final four. This one is from Michael Melendez. Do this one first. Looks really big. It says, open on YouTube video. All right, you got it. Oh, and there's packs in there. Some 2018 Tops Update Packs. That's pretty awesome. There's a bunch of Lots of packs today. I appreciate it, guys. And there's more underneath. It says, Dear Jazz Family, my name is Marco, and I'm 11 years old. I really enjoy watching your videos, especially the ones where you go to baseball card shops. Please open my package in a YouTube video. Well, you're in luck. Um, I am opening it up, and I am going to a baseball card shop for a video tomorrow, so that's pretty good. Uh, can you please send me some Mets autos or any cool Mets cards that I have? Let's... Uh, check out what you got here. I'll have to see if I have Mets autos. I'm never sure if I have autographs from a specific team. I try to organize them to keep them straight. Uh, but I definitely have tons and tons of Mets cards I could send you. Uh, and I'll toss in um, the best Mets players I can find. Willie Calhoun, rookie card. Austin Hayes, rookie card. Kershaw. Raphael Devers, that is nice. Let's see. I see Addison Russell and uh, Reyes there. Um, not too bad. A couple of rookie cards on the top with Austin Hayes and Luis Gohara. I think I'm just going to censor that just in case it's supposed to be inappropriate. I'm not sure. I think one of your friends might have um, gotten your card collection there. This is rookie cards, Allen and Ginter cards, and pirate cards. Oh, we got some nice rookie cards here. Will Myers, Corey Seager. Aaron Nola, Trey Turner, Colton Wong. It's a nice run of rookies right there. Piscotti's not too bad. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Special tamper-proof case there. Chrome cards and autos. So let's see what we got here. Here are the chrome cards on top. Mike Trout, that's a good one. Carlos Correa, sepia card. And then here's the autographs. The first one is Jeff Locke from the Pirates. He's not on the Pirates anymore. Brett Phillips. And then we have random cards of good players. Randy Johnson, Bryce Harper, Gold Cup card, Trout. Davis and Cody Bellinger. That was pretty awesome. Thank you very much for that pack. Really cool stuff. I really appreciate it. These are all the responses that I've put together so far. I have so many more I still have to do, but uh, you can see I've been working on them. I just have to throw some postage on these and get them in the mail. And um, I still have a lot more to go. I'm going to keep working on them and try to get them all done throughout the next week so I can write back to everybody that requested cards over the past month or two. Let's get back to Fan Mail Friday now. Okay, only three packages left to go. This one is from Ben Schatz, and it looks like the, um, I don't know, post office is not doing a great job delivering packages in great condition. This one is all busted open, but it says received unsealed. It's kind of uh, weird, but let's see what we got here. Uh, wow, we got a little Teeny Mates for Livy. It's like a gold Teeny Mates. She'll love that. Thank you for that. And we have a Clem Kashorik 1953 Tops card. 50s. It says, thanks for the great YouTube content. I was inspired in large part due to your channel to start my own channel, The Beholder. So this is our first shout out of the day. Everyone check out The Beholder like you. I hope my kids will join me in this great hobby someday. I'm impressed by your wherewithal and great spirits in the face of bad medical news. I found this old Pirates card I've had forever. It's a bit beat up, but I thought the player's face looked strong and hopeful. May it be a good omen as you fight and beat cancer. And here's a gold teeny mate for Olivia. All the best, Ben Schatz, a.k.a. The Beholder. Thank you very much, Ben, for this 1953 Tops card. It is very nice, and Olivia will definitely love the teeny mates. Uh, she's in bed right now. I took a break from filming to go watch my brother's live stream uh, and caught up on that. He did a box of uh, TriStar. It was pretty interesting to watch that being opened. 
But that being said, our next package is from Dodgers fan Drew, Andres Pena Jr. So he always sends some great stuff. A regular contributor to Fan Mail Friday, and you can see he doesn't disappoint. Lots and lots of Pokemon packs for Olivia. Unfortunately, like I just said, Olivia is asleep right now, but I will give these to her tomorrow. It says, what's up, E-Man? Just a little something for you and Olivia for Fan Mail Friday. Hope you like and enjoy. Wow, that is a lot of Pokemon packs. Tons of them. Went, and Webkins. I think I might divide these up between Olivia and Elsa because my um, three-year-old is getting into Pokemon a lot also. Then we have Topps Fire Packs. We have Chrome Baseball. Some more Webkins. And uh, what is this? Comic Ball. Those are pretty cool. Remember those. So um, let's put these aside for Olivia and get to opening some of these up. Um, let's do Topps Chrome Baseball update. These were available through Target. Uh, came out about a month or so ago. And there's four cards per pack. We got a Jose Altuve, an International Affair, Freddie Freeman, Kenley Jansen, and J.D. Martinez in the first pack. Let's check the second pack. It'd be nice to get an autograph, but it's kind of hard to get autographs out of these um, Chrome Update packs. But we do get a Bryce Harper. That's a very nice Bryce Harper card. Mitch Haniger and Charlie Blackman. You can see that um, it has like Looney Tunes characters there. There's Reggie Jackson running alongside with the uh, Roadrunner, seventh inning stretch. There's Bugs Bunny. Um, I'm just going to give all these to Olivia, I think. She might get a kick out of them. There are six cards per pack in these packs of Topps Fire cards. And in the first one, we have. Rysel Iglesias and Nick Castellanos. Willie Adame's rookie card. Orange um, parallel there is pretty nice. Chan Sisko. I'll take any rookie card any day. And Garrett Cooper. Very nice. Next pack up has Chris Bryant on the front. It's a nice picture of Bryant. Had it down here last year, but he's likely going to bounce back. It's going to be a tough gun. NL Central for the Cubs. Cubs, Brewers, and Cardinals are all going to be bunched up. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, also, the Reds are going to be better. Mike Trout. That is a nice rainbow parallel there. like that one a lot. Hunter Renfro and Ernie Banks. And then let's do one more, and then let's get to that last package so I can get this video uploaded because it is getting late. It's 1030 right now, and I'm glad I opened this one. Juan Soto rookie card. I don't think I have that one yet. That is really nice. Uh, thank you so much for these cards. Uh, Dodgers fan Drew always hooking it up. I really, really appreciate it. Mike Dwer, or Mike Dwer, is the last sender. I hope I pronounced your name right. Usually I get it wrong, so sorry about that. To slide the contents out, we got a note that says open first. So let's do this one first of this pack and a patch. Here are those Heritage cards. Heritage and Archives mixed together. David Ortiz, Max Kepler, Harmon Killebrew, and then we have this uh, Longhorns patch, I guess, maybe? I'm not too sure what that is. Check out what's in this next one. We have a big graded card. Wow, that is pretty cool. 1947 to 1966 exhibits, Sam Melee, very good condition. The MK means there's a mark somewhere on the card or like a little ink blotch or something like that. I don't really see anything there. Um, that is pretty cool. That is a giant, giant card. Um, I didn't even realize... Um, PSA did holders this big. That is the biggest uh, graded card I ever got. That is pretty awesome. And then we have one more container here. One more package with another. Whoa. 1910. This is a 1910 tobacco card. Ed Abaticio. And it's an A from SGC. 
That is pretty sweet. Look, it's a pirate, too. Wow. I don't know what to say. That's pretty awesome. Um, this is our second tobacco card sent from 1909 or 1910 in this fan mail. So you guys are going to have to let me know once again what this is worth because I literally have no idea. Um, maybe I should start collecting these old cards from 1909 and 1910. I know some of them are kind of affordable. Even though they're over 100 years old, you can still pick some of them up. Sometimes I see them going for like 15 to 20 bucks uh, at card shows and so on. Let's check out the note. The note says, Happy holidays to you and your lovely family. I do wish you the best and hope for your speedy recovery. I currently live and work for a federal agency in Washington, D.C., but I'm a native Minnesotan and Twins fan. So first of all, I wanted you to see you shuffle through some Twins cards on your mail call video. I also found one of my old unit patches from my days in the Army National Guard, so I thought I'd toss in there for you, too. Lastly, as a thanks for the hours of entertainment you provided for re-sparking my interest in collecting baseball cards again, the last two items are a couple things I picked up, and I thought you'd enjoy them, especially after I heard you were interested in T206 cards. I mostly collect vintage Minnesota Twins and a handful of players with interesting careers and stories, but knowing it's only a matter of time until I start my Washington Senators and Nationals collections. Thank you very much, Mike. Those are awesome cards. I've been long intrigued by the tobacco cards, and um, now I might have a reason to start buying them. Um, you guys helped me start my collection off today with two tobacco cards. Um, I appreciate all the cards that you guys sent. This was really generous of you all. I hope you all have a very happy new year. And I look forward to bringing you many more videos in 2019. Thank you so much, everybody, and I'll see you later. Hey, everybody, the December giveaway is all this stuff. I'm going to have three different winners from three different pools. The first pool will be a random commenter, so comment on all of my videos to increase your chances. Second winner is going to be a pinned comment in each video, and then I will choose from among the pinned comments. And then the top comment in each video will also be the third and final winner. We'll have you all face off against each other in a little spinoff, and we'll pick a winner at the end of the month. Here's the prizes. 2018 Topps Archives featuring two autograph cards per box. 2015 Don Russ featuring three hits in a box. Then I also have 2016 Don Russ with one autograph in there. Some cards from my personal collection, Kyrkin Jr. Rookie Card, Ricky Henderson Rookie Card, and then some graded cards from my personal collection, 1973 Topps Hank Aaron, rated a 5, 1989 Topps Graded Ken Griffey Jr., PSA 9, and a Jacob deGrom jersey uh, with a $125 tag on it. So all you have to do is just comment, and thank you for watching the videos. Make sure that you're a subscriber, like the videos, and comment. That's all you got to do. And finally, I want to give an official shout out to my two biggest patrons on Patreon. We got Terry and Kadeen. Big K's Cards and Collectibles is a YouTube channel that you need to follow and subscribe to. And Terry has been a longtime supporter of me. I thank you both so much.